Hey there, everybody. We made it to Emporia, Kansas uh, to ride Dirty Kansas. The race is actually tomorrow. Are you feeling ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. <laughs> One of the cool things about DK is how the town comes alive and the expo and all the cyclists that come in, into town. So in this video, I think we're just gonna walk around, talk to people at the expo, talk to other cyclists, and uh, show you what uh, this whole scene is like. So let's get going. It's bleeping hot. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think it's a good 10 degrees hotter than anything it's gotten to in Montana yet, so... And sticky! One of the cool things about Dirty Kanza are all the bikes that are here. There's some really nice gravel bikes. If you're into uh, this kind of riding, no better place to see all these kinds of bikes in one place. Yeah, it's It's a guy, you ride the book. Hey, what's that up? book again? Gravel Cycling. <laughs> all right. So we are going to go across the street and get in line to officially sign in. I think this is the part where we sign that says that if we crash ourselves and break ourselves, that it's our responsibility. And they make you work to sign it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last name Roca, R-O-C-A. Oh, here, I'll just take it. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, there you go, good luck. Thank you. Nice and even. <laughs> That's mine. Mine's 852. Can say officially, I did it for the t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, can you just put the things in my bag? Yep. The same size. Or, same? Yeah, men's okay. size. There. Right there. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Hey, thank you. Hey, how are you guys? good, how are you? <laughs> it is going to be a long day. Yeah. <laughs> Laura, what's your last name, Laura? Laura Crawford. And where are you from? Uh, Missoula, Montana. Missoula, Montana? <laughs> I'm from Montana. Are you really? Yeah, I'm near Great Falls. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah. Yep, you're my neighbor. Then. Went to school, yeah, in Billings. So. Perfect. Well, hey, welcome. What Thank brings, you. How did you get involved with the DK? Uh, that's a long story, but I've been biking for a long time and have long uh, admired and respected Dirty Kanza. And this was just the year to finally try it. So this is your number one? It is my first, yes. So what have you heard yes. about this epic gra uh, gravel grinding event here? Uh, it is hard. Uh, it's probably going to be really hot. <laughs> and uh, the, the community rolls out the welcome wagon, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so we've got uh, 49 states represented here, 16 different countries this year, and 2,700 total racers in the family of races for the DK. And I know we like to roll out the red carpet for all that come in here. So what have you heard about the Flint Hills and the Flint Hills gravel out here? I have heard that they chew up tires. <laughs> So how's your mechanical ability? Uh, it's okay. Uh, I'm not the greatest mechanic myself, but I happen to have a partner who is a pretty good mechanic. So, um, and hopefully my tires will, will hold up. Well, hey, it's great to have you here. Welcome. Thank we hope you. you enjoy your stay in Emporia and, and a good luck in the 200 tomorrow. It should be a little bit cooler tomorrow, by the way. I am hoping so. All Thank right. you very much. Enjoy it. Thanks. Thank we appreciate you. it. That area? area? Yeah. Ivan. 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 Where are you guys from? Iowa City. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. I'm riding. So what is my crew? Yeah, I'm the crew. So okay. I'm not riding. This year. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Hi. Thanks, guys. Yeah, nice okay. meeting you. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Awesome. Hi. John Decker. Cool. I Russ. emailed you. Oh, okay. From here, so. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys have a good trip? Yeah. yeah. This okay. is my <laughs> fifth attempt, so yeah. hopefully. Uh, so what have, what have you learned in five attempts? <laughs> that it's very hard. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna check out Gravel City Adventure and Supply. It's one of three bike shops here in Emporia. It's kind of the uh, hub for a lot of the cyclists that are doing DK. So let's check it out and see what's inside. Do you want little 
Euro. So as you can see, it's a complete madhouse in the shop. The day before Dirty Kanza, people doing all their last minute uh, purchases. So one of the big releases is the new Warbird. Uh, one of my favorite bikes, but it's finally out in 650B. So I'm gonna uh, Google it and fondle it and hopefully talk to someone from the salsa about it. So we're here at the salsa booth uh, at the expo and one of the big new releases is a 650B uh, version of the Warbirds. I've been bugging Joe about this bike. Uh, when it, Warbirds one of our favorite bikes, but would love it in 650B and it's here. Uh, can you tell us about it? Yeah, so uh, this is the brand new Warbird. A handful of new features. So as Russ said, one of the biggest features is a handle 650 by 2.1 tires now for everyone that wants to run big volume on the, the, su the supple tires. The supple <laughs> tires, yes. Supple life. And in addition to that, uh, loads more mounts. You know, we're here in Kansas. It's wicked hot. <laughs> it is hot. Uh, it's going to be 90, 95 degrees tomorrow. And riders are going to need four to five bottles between those 50 mile checkpoints. And this bike now will handle five or six bottles depending on size for the rider. And it makes it an awesome gravel race bike, but for someone going out and doing a, a gravel bikepacking adventure, it gives you a host of options to uh, put accessories on the bike and have a great time out there. So you called me uh, several years ago and we're like, hey, I want to be able to mount my tin car or rod on the side of my fork. Yeah. You know, how do I do that? And I said, ah, we don't have a way. Right. But uh, now, you know, we really took that feedback to heart. It's something you've seen in our Cutthroat, it's something you've seen in our Fargo and other products we do, our fat product as well. Uh, and we continue to evolve on that. So this has three pack mounts. It's got rack mounts if you want to run low riders. It's got dyno routing. So if you want an internal dyno riding, you can do that as well. Awesome. So just a host of really cool features that uh, still keep it specific to gravel race, but extend the uh, experience a little bit. Uh, when do these ship and are they gonna come OEM with the 650B or like how's that, how's that play out? Well, full details are uh, not yet being released, okay. right? So price point, color spec, not fully released, I will say there will be a 650 option for riders that want to uh, experience that. And uh, these will ship in the fall. Okay, awesome. Well, thanks. Yeah. All right. Thank yeah. you. We're here at the Donnelly booth with James, and you guys just launched a new bike. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, we actually launched two new bikes. Um, so we have our gravel bike and a cross bike. Um, the gravel bike is the sand color here. Um, it comes in two different specs. Um, a force and a rival, and then also available in a frame set. So a lot of our, our YouTube followers uh, are fans of the Supple Life into 650B uh, wheels and tires. Will it take 650B? Yes, it will. I've ridden the bike with both 650 42s that we make and 650 50s. 50s fit great. Um, I've then taken it out on single track and had a lot of fun on the bike. Um, me personally, I'm a little more of a 700 fan, but this right. bike will definitely work with both. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you, James. Yep, no problem. Yeah. Um, so we're here with Jordan at the Kona booth, and uh, we're stoked to talk about this new bike that you guys have out. Uh, it's Absolutely. called the Libre? It's the Libre Deluxe build right here. Okay. Um, so kind of a mix between a carbon version of our Sutra LTD and the Rove line of bikes. Um, so kind of your do-everything, off-road, touring, adventure, gravel, uh, like I said, do-everything bike. So definitely meant for big tire clearance and uh, long days in the saddle. That can, compared to the Robe, how's the handling different? It's a bit more upright, more of your endurance geometry, um, very similar to the Sutra. Okay. Um, so like I said, a little bit more of the rake to the fork, um, wider handlebars, more upright geometry, longer wheelbase. So stability over chunky terrain is kind of the, the idea behind the bike. This bike is coming in stock build with tubes in it is coming in just barely under 19 and this is a size large. Rear racks, fenders, three water bottles within the inside of the frame, another underneath the down tube, uh, mounts for top tube bag, uh, multiple mounts on your fork. So really, you know, all the standards for new bag setups, anything cages, really whatever you want, this bike can handle it. Which, And when are these coming out again? Hoping late summer is, uh, I don't have exact ETAs, but definitely in the next, you know, handful of months for sure. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, we just came out of the expo, grabbed some tacos, 
and now we're gonna get our stuff ready for our support crew and uh, we're pretty lucky we've got the folks at District Cycles backing us up. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> we're gonna meet with them, hand over our nutrition for the check stop, and then uh, go back to the expo and see the uh, DKXL riders take off. <laughs> if you thought we were crazy. <laughs> Those are the truly crazy <laughs> people. <laughs> so tradition continues, we always get together at Mulready's. There's like 25 of us here right now or something crazy like that. Uh, I just want to say a couple things, like, we're all still doing this, we're all still super excited about it. We got first timers right here, we got five timer right here, we got four timer, wherever Brett is at, where'd Brett go? Over there. Yeah. It's super exciting. Good so, start one. Still water, still water gravel grinders. Yeah, Let's do this thing. Oh, who all are we supporting tomorrow? Yeah. Just raise your hands who so needs we know. Thing. Here, get together. Let's put our hands in real quick. Let's do something really stupid. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. As should every star Excel. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start with. Let's right. do something. We're gonna stupid. we're gonna say we're gonna say get weird on three. All right, because that's what we're all gonna do. We're yeah. all gonna get weird tonight. We're gonna get weird tomorrow. We're gonna get weird together at the finish right line. We're, we're gonna get weird right now. All right, on three. Oh yes. All right, one, two, three. Get weird. Yeah. Stay weird. Tyler. Tyler. Austin. Austin. And both of you guys work at District. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. You're doing our support. Thanks, guys. Any, any tips for survival? Don't die. That's Don't keep simple. pretty simple. Keep eating food. <laughs> so we just dropped off our cooler with the support crew. So we're going back to the expo to check out the grand depart of the DKXL ride. We appreciate you all being here. Uh, to wish these riders well as they embark on this amazing journey. Uh, 350 miles of Flint Hills gravel, totally unsupported. Uh, are these badasses or they're a little nuts? I'm not sure which. But when Joel and I first started hashing out uh, this, first, this idea of ours, it was patterned after this event up in Iowa. But that event, of course, was Trans-Iowa and uh, Mark Stevenson is here with us. Do you want to raise your hand, Mark? Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, if there's a grandfather of gravel, it's this gentleman right here. Uh, for how many years? For 14 years, ran Trans Iowa. Uh, most, uh, the most recent edition was just a few weeks ago, and afterwards he announced that that was the last and final Trans Iowa. So. Uh, if anything, we just hope to pick up the baton here. Show us how Emporium does DK! Emporium, are you ready? Woo! I've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Greetings from Kansas City. This Jay Riger's Kansas City whiskey. It's not bourbon, but it's not bad. All right. Thank you, man. Wow. Awesome. Glad to have you here. Yeah, totally. All right. I want to welcome all of you uh, to the uh, 2018 edition of the Garmin uh, Dirty Kansas. So welcome everybody to Emporia Kansas. And this is a very, very remote area. You will not have any opportunity to resupply between checkpoints. Save uh, a friendly farmer or rancher with a garden hose uh, run out from their front porch or somebody along the road with, a, with an ice cooler, which they're more than welcome to do, but don't count on that. Three weeks ago, we lost one of our strongest advocates uh, from this uh, ranching community. Uh, 
Cliff Cole managed uh, the land that uh, the Czar Cattle Pen sits on. And uh, if you're familiar with Dirty Gans, if you've been here before, You've enjoyed riding through the Bizarre Cattle Pens. If you're in the 100 or the 200 mile event, you'll go through the Bizarre Cattle Pens at about mile 27. Um, and so Cliff uh, was a lifetime cowboy, uh, a lifetime uh, steward of the Flint Hills, and uh, just three weeks, to, two or three weeks ago, uh, uh, suffered an accident while he was out there working cattle. And uh, like I said, he was his life doing what he loved best. Uh, we are blessed to have Cliff Paul Franklin with us today. So we just wrapped up the rider meeting. We're gonna get some dinner, uh, go back to the Airbnb and get the bikes prepped. And uh, I think we'll jump there and tell you guys our strategy for tomorrow. <laughs> all right, we just got back from all the expo madness and it was such an awesome time. It was actually, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we got a chance to meet uh, a ton of viewers of the channel, which I'm super stoked about. Because, you know, I, I make these videos basically in our apartment in, in Montana. I don't know if anyone's actually watching them. So if you came up and said hi, thank you so much. That, that means a ton. Tomorrow, the forecast is 85 degrees. So cooler than uh, today's like 95. Mm -hmm. But it's supposed to be windy. Um, I think definitely the, the weather conditions are going to be a bit of a challenge. In Montana, we haven't, we barely had a day over 65. Uh, until recently, so yeah. I don't know if we're gonna acclimate quick enough. Um, I think after standing <laughs> outside in the 90 degree sun today, uh, 85 will sound will feel really quite nice <laughs> and cool. And you know, a 20 mile an hour headwind is gonna feel like air conditioning. Right. So. <laughs> warm, warm, painful air conditioning. Um, so that expo in the town really came alive. Uh, I think that's one of the things that makes this event special and uh, really endears it to lots of people. Any last thoughts for tomorrow? What's running through your head? <laughs> um, I think the only, I think the, I think my biggest point of anxiety right now is just uh, waking up at four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure I drink enough coffee, uh, eat a solid breakfast, uh, which is not easy to do at four in the morning. Right. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, just get on the bike and pedal and just keep pedaling for 18 hours. You know? <laughs> so. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> I don't know. And it, it's funny how, like, in a way, after all of this training and all of the buildup yeah. and, and everything, the idea of doing the event ha really does come down to, like, just get up and sit on the saddle and just pedal and just don't stop pedaling, basically, for... For a long time. <laughs> For a really long time. <laughs> I have to say, when we left on the, at the start of this road trip, I had massive anxiety. <laughs> it, it was a feeling like I used to get in college when like a final <laughs> was coming up. And there was a lot to study for. And you did the studying. You know, we did the homework. But you never quite knew if it was enough. And there was no way to really know until the day of the final, uh, or in this case, DK tomorrow. So, you know, we've been training. Uh, since what December, December. Um, you know trying to put in the hours I think we, we, we put in the hours and hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's enough hopefully it's enough <laughs> it's enough exactly <laughs> yeah um, but it was good to hear from other people that were in a similar uh, kind of situation I know um, you know, events like this, we there's a lot of focus about you know people who finish first or who finish fast. 
Uh, but there's a lot of mere mortals too <laughs> <laughs> that are undertaking yes. this that maybe bit off a little bit more than they could chew at the moment, but are going to still persevere. And uh, we'll be right there with them. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so uh, thanks for following our Couch to Kansas journey. Um, and thanks for all the uh, words of support for all the people that uh, said hi during this weekend. Uh, it means a ton. And we'll see you guys on the road. And until next time, keep the salt aside down. <laughs>